Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we check out the all new 517 Grand Pacific acoustic guitar from Taylor Guitars. Taylor Guitars, I would say, are generally known for their very unique sounding Taylor. When you hear a recording of a Taylor guitar, you hear that really chimey top end and that really tight low end with a kind of pronounced mid-range. At least, that's how I think of Taylor guitars. Well, with the new Grand Pacific, they really wanted to kind of emulate the variety of acoustic guitars heard predominantly in the 60s and 70s. And those were many, many different models and makes, and they kind of wanted to sum all of that up and get kind of a richer, warmer sort of vibe going along with their new V-bracing. And hence, you have the culmination of all of those things in the Grand Pacific. Now let's talk about V-bracing for just a second. Traditionally, especially with a dreadnought style guitar, you have very large wide shoulders to accommodate the X-bracing, traditionally speaking, the X-bracing used on the top of an acoustic guitar. Now, the bracing on an acoustic guitar will benefit and is a balance of two primary things, volume and sustain. So, if the top is less braced, it will resonate more and have more volume, but less sustain. So builders are always trying to come up with creative ways for bracing to enhance both of those properties while not sacrificing one or the other. And Taylor's new V bracing does just that. On the Grand Pacific, the bracing is down here and that focuses the string tension in a parallel manner, but it also allows the shoulders to kind of be almost a parlor guitar-like feel and size. You don't have this big wide body. You have a much smaller rounder profile on the top, which really makes it sit with you against your body very, very nicely. And it's, it's really loud and there's lots of sustain. Great combo for an acoustic guitar. Now the 517 Grand Pacific has mahogany sides and back, and that really adds a nice rich warmth and punch to the mid range. And then when you combine it with the Sitka Spruce top, you just get this nice chime, but very nice round attack. I wouldn't say it's really a traditional sounding tailor. It sounds, it sounds old. That's the best way I can describe it. It sounds like an old guitar. Now, in addition to all of those things, there is a dual action truss rod. It's a 25 and a half inch scale, uh, Taylor tuners. Uh, the neck, I would say, is a very comfortable C shape. I really, really like the neck on this guitar. It's not too deep, it's not too wide. It fits in the palm of my hand very, very nicely. And really, if, if I had to go and travel and be one of those backpacking nomads, this is the guitar that I would strap to the back of my backpack because I would want to take this everywhere. I am not typically known on this channel for playing a ton of acoustic guitar stuff, but I've been playing the crap out of this guitar because it's just a lot of fun. And I think that's a really good quality to have in an acoustic guitar. 
Now, side note, if you're wondering why I even have this uh, 517 Grand Pacific, it's because I'm doing some stuff with Fishman and I needed a non-electric pickup or a non-piezo pickup guitar for some stuff that I'm doing with Fishman. And Taylor were nice enough to send this guy out and I had the a Fishman thing installed, that's a bunch, that's another. And finally, uh, this retails for about $2,800 at the time of this filming. This is definitely a serious acoustic guitars guitar. This is definitely not an entry level instrument by any means. Um, it comes in two different finishes. This is Wild Honey Burst and kind of looks like bacon to me because it sounds like bacon after the after the sizzle. There's also several different configurations with uh, including piezo pickup, non-piezo pickup, etc., etc. So there are definitely options if you're looking for this body style and this model and want to uh, pimp it out just a little bit. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Wow, another video gone by. Hope it was pretty good. I mean, it's probably pretty good, but if it wasn't, <laughs> awkward, right?